Well, you guys, it is time for the first ride on my new Honda Helix. In other words, the CN250. This thing is a Japanese masterpiece, a time machine on wheels. And what do we have here? We have the drone. We got a can of seafoam, which I'll talk about here in a second. And we've got my main camera rig, the Canon 80D. Can we fit this all on the bike? I think so. So this Honda Helix, as well as many other Instagram models, is famous for its very large trunk. Open her up, and oh my gosh, we have storage for days. We even got a tool bag. But I'm just going to go ahead and fit my drone in here. No problem. Oh, I was kind of worried about the camera, but I realized this whole thing is padded. Good on you, Honda. Lock her up. Now on my first test ride, this thing was sputtering a little bit and I'm not sure whether it was just cold still, but we are gonna put just a little bit of seafoam in, help get that carburetor cleaned out. But where's the fuel tank? Yes, it is locked as well. Insert the key, open her up, and that reveals the fuel cap. It's actually a really nice feature so nobody can mess with your gas tank. So we're just gonna pour just a little bit of this seafoam in here. A little bit goes a long way with these motorcycles. This is our glove box right here, which I'm going to be storing my phone. Remind me to get this seafoam. Oh, it fits the iPhone 10 perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and put my registration in here as well. And guys, old girl is ready to have a plate thrown on her, and we're going to take her out for a rip. Just roll it forward to get it off of the center stand. To start it, you need your foot on the brake. Turn the key on put it into the run position and check it out guys my favorite part about this thing the digital dash go ahead and fire her up she is a wee bit cold this model that I have does have these wind deflectors on the side keep your knees and feet nice and warm and not to mention this giant windshield keeping the wind off of your face and chest so apparently this thing is super cold blooded so you want to give it plenty of time to warm up uh oh we're rolling baby starting this review off road God. all right guys here we go so this is my first real ride on this thing so this is going to be a true honest opinion first bump we hit the suspension ate it up like a champ and i'm not gonna lie this thing is quick this is definitely quicker than the honda grom She's definitely sputtering a lot, so I don't know. We'll get some of that seafoam worked in there. So the way that the Helix was designed, the engine is able to sustain a higher RPM for long periods of time. So you're not gonna cause any damage holding it wide open for extended periods, say on the highway. Woo! I'm absolutely loving this thing. We're cruising 60 miles an hour. No problem. I'm gonna have to GPS verify this because it feels like we're going a lot faster. countryside enjoying it 
This thing is awesome. Let's see how it handles on these rough roads. The suspension is definitely smooth and it should be for a touring scooter. Hey, <laughs> rock on, brother. I am curious how far you can lean this thing before it's gonna bottom out. No, I don't wanna try that in Crocs and sweatpants, but I wonder if we can take this thing on the tail of the dragon someday. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. It literally feels crazy. All right guys, so it's time for some honesty. A lot of you are probably wondering what the heck is going on. We're headed down to Florida for a family vacation and everybody in my family has Harleys. I was gonna go out and buy a Harley last second. I found a really good deal on a road glide. It was just a little bit newer, so it was fuel injected. Had a few bells and whistles. I was pretty excited about it. But the more I thought about it, the more I was just like, eh, I don't need to spend the money. Unfortunately, I'm not at a point now where I can't just turn that thing into a wheelie monster and beat on it. It would just have to be more of an investment. But someday I definitely would like to get a road glide and try to get my sea bear stunts on. That would have been the perfect one to do it, but it was one of those things where it was just too expensive to beat on and especially to learn on. It just didn't make sense. So I had a few other options in mind. I could have got an older Dyna, like a Street Bob or something like that. But really, those things are just too small for me. And at the end of the day, I just didn't really want to do it. So then I started getting crazy and looking at other stuff. I was actually looking at gold wings at first. I was seeing a lot of older gold wings pop up for sale. I'm talking like mid 80s to late 80s. And I almost pulled the trigger on a super low mileage gold wing. I'll probably regret not picking that thing up, but it just wasn't the right timing. And then I came across the Honda Helix. The instant I saw this thing, it put a smile on my face, man. It just screamed retro Japan. Like this thing is literally a rolling time machine, just the styling and everything. It's been around a long time and it's currently still being sold over in Japan. But why the Helix? There's so many other scooters out there. Well, here's the thing. With a lot of the older scooters, their lower displacement, this thing was designed to be a touring scooter, something you could go out on the highway on. Something with a little more weight, a larger seat, the longer wheelbase, and you can even have a passenger on this thing, no problem. Not to mention the fantastic fuel economy that you're gonna get. You're looking at 60 plus miles per gallon. Like I said earlier, you can cruise fully pinned, no problem. And this performance motorcycle really met a lot of people's needs. And that's the reason why it stuck around for so long. But to sum it all up, I bought this to ride down in Florida with the Harleys, kind of just to be a troll, to have fun, and to give you guys some entertaining content. All kinds of potholes, man. This was the wrong road to take. They need to fix this. But the day that you're watching this is actually the day that I bought this and it is still sputtering and popping. Unfortunately, I think we might have to pull the carburetor apart and clean it out. 
get some fresh gas in there at the very least but i don't know we'll give the seafoam a chance maybe run another fresh tank of gas through here and see what happens you are supposed to be able to do 70 to 75 miles per hour on these things a lot of people were saying that they run better when it's warm out and uh obviously that makes sense being carbureted so hopefully we can get that extra boost down in florida to help keep up with the hogs but nevertheless i'm super excited to ride this thing rack up some miles cruise relax i mean this is my cruiser man this is attention deficit style honestly i thought about keeping this for a while and doing a few performance mods and maybe a little build out of it that's the target dog up ahead hey buddy i don't think i would lower it just because as you can see right now these roads are jacked up and i don't want to lose the capability of the higher ground clearance but i definitely would get an exhaust for it like i said do all the performance stuff just a few aesthetic things. Maybe we can put a custom paint job on it. it. Wouldn't be that hard to pull these plastics off and get them painted. Maybe get a chopped tinted windshield. Do some different mirrors. Maybe do a mirror delete. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. You guys might think I'm a little bit off. But I mean we already know that. But I gotta say. This feels like one of those machines that I could just literally rack up miles all day long and not get tired i'm literally sitting on a sofa my butt is so comfortable right now and this thing is just gonna be fun to have around and rip on what's up buddy see ya We're definitely gonna have to rig up a cruise control. That'd be awesome just to sit back and chill. This would also be like the ultimate filming rig. Like say I can have a Lexus on this thing, just holding the camera, filming me do something on any of the bikes. It's got enough ground clearance to get away taking it off road. This is pretty clean as far as the Helix goes. So I don't know how crazy I wanna get with it. This might be my baby. This might be my show queen. Like I said, we might do a little build on it. But at the end of the day guys on this channel i just want to bring a sense of you can really do whatever the heck you want to do and just get away from other people's judgment be happy in your own lane and just don't care about what other people think of you and that's the biggest thing that's brought me a lot of happiness is just not caring what people think it just doesn't matter and that's just what it's all about is being yourself being happy not just because other people give you praise or anything like that or just not searching for other people's approval so that's what attention deficit is all about and i hope you guys enjoy this bike and like i said maybe this will be one of those that we keep around and we can build and actually you know bring a character onto the channel that stays around so I'm constantly buying and selling stuff, but this is one of those things where just why not have something to keep around like this that is so convenient just to hop on and cruise somewhere and have a blast. Like I'm doing 60 plus right now with zero effort, 62. All right, 63, I'm getting a little scared here. 65, oh, 65, there it is. Are right, we gonna hit this turn at 65, 67? Oh my gosh, dude, it feels like we're on a freaking NASA space shuttle right now. <laughs> we could have got 70 there, but I backed off. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, that was sketchy. We're getting risky on the scooter, man. Do I think this thing will wheelie? Probably not. Oh, hey, we got a little bounce. I'm curious to see what it's like to be a passenger on this, so maybe we'll just take a... Oh yeah. Man, that'd be a super comfortable passenger rig. There we go. I'm just chilling.
But everybody needs a good daily. And I gotta say, man, this thing fits the bill. I like it. No, let me rephrase that. I love this thing. For what it is, it feels really nimble. And these roads are absolute garbage, or I'd test the limits a little bit more. 